What is up guys? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Thank you for watching this video. And here we are using some Plasti Dip, spraying our windshield wipers and those two little bars there that go on back of the back window of the cab uh, with black, flat black Plasti Dip. I like to do the, all these little details after I do a complete paint job because you don't want to be putting these parts on that don't look complete, right? Um, and I just plastic dip the whole mirror not the whole mirror the whole um windshield wiper um it just works it works great so here's i'm putting three to four heavy coats on it making it look nice so when i put them on the cab it looks great right so um let's just wrap this up here and then we're going to be putting on our tailgate and uh we're getting close to assembling the truck together and then we're going to be doing our color sanding and buffing and remember you could always do the color sanding and buffing first. I talk about this in VIP a lot, the proper steps to do it. This is just an overview, bird's eye view process of everything. Um, so if you want to learn more in step-by-step -step detail, check out learnautobodyandpaint.com. But enjoy the video. Please like it, comment, uh, share the video, and I'll see you in just a bit. Do not disassemble. <laughs> Johnny five. Anyway, we are putting the tailgates, side beds, side gates, whatever you want to call them on the truck. Um, and just getting the whole thing put together little by little. And honestly, I didn't have to put these gates on. I just, you know, was super excited and I wanted to see what it looked like. So here, what I was doing is putting on our mud flaps back. And after kind of organizing it, I decided, hey, these nuts and bolts are dirty looking. They're ugly. So I'm going to hit them with a wire wheel quick, get them looking new. And this is what you could do to all of your nuts and bolts, you know, before putting your new project together is clean them up. I like to usually do that. You can see here I started putting them on. I was like, ah, now nah, let me let me do them. So you could what you could do is clean them up and put them on or you could clean them up, put them on and then hit them with a the flat black. So they're actually painted. Um, you could even paint them and then put them on, but then you might have to retouch them up because by putting them on, you're going to show the metal again, right? So, you know, either or, you do what you got to do. Um, but again, this is the final detail process. So if you go through it, you clean the nuts and bolts up, you put them on, it's just going to make the whole project look even better, look newer. Um, I wish my camera was pointed a little lower here, but I am cleaning the bolts, the, the nuts here, nuts and bolts. All right, now I'm putting it back on with clean bolts. You can see that looking really good. 10 millimeter quick, snap them on quick, and um, we are good to go. And the reason why I didn't have to put the bed back together is because I had to take it apart anyway to do the Raptor liner, you know, but fortunately it's super easy to slide on and off these little tailgates here. Super convenient. So here we are putting our side view mirrors on, putting some molding back on, you know, cleaning the molding up first, putting it back on. Here's my little rain guard. Pretty cool. And um, everything's looking good so far. The cool thing about these plastic lenses here on the car and any car is you could buff them out as you're buffing the car. So I always love to hit these lenses with some compound and buffing while I'm buffing the car out. You know, you could do them separately. Uh, the only thing is, is if you do it together, sometimes you're gonna end up with compound in between the seams and stuff, but that easily comes out when you wash it and have a little toothbrush to clean it out. But you'll see the process. Um, putting the front bumper on here, <clears throat> looking really good. I'm just so excited. This is like the best part, putting a car back together after you custom paint it. You know, it's just coming together and you're like, oh my, you just can't wait to see every part go back on it. I mean, that's how I am anyway. Um, and I'm, it, this is great because this is just a snap on. Four snaps, these lens caps go right on. Super easy to put on. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's looking great. Wait till the, wait, wait till you see the pinstripe on it. 
and uh, the Raptor liner on it. It comes out fantastic. It's so cute. I drive it around now and, and like everybody in my neighborhood is like, oh my God, where'd you get that? Like people want to buy it from me. I got, I got the people who take care of the huge house across the street from me, like the lawn care people. They're like, they want to buy it from me. Anyway, it's Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Thank you for watching the video. Please like it, share, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you're a total newbie, you want to learn all the tips and tricks to customize your cars from home without a thirty to fifty thousand dollar paint booth, you know you could do it. Absolutely, you can bang out professional paint jobs from home. And we've taught tens of thousands of people from all over the world since 2010 learn how to do this in a step-by-step -step, easy to learn fashion a to z we leave no stone left unturned if you like these trainings vip is no comparison so check it out at learnautobodyandpaint.com vip talk to you soon bye bye